Hey guys, Ebbs here with House of Guns, and I'm joined by Dan Coonan from Coonan. And they make some pretty unique stuff. This is actually a, a uh, 1911 and 357 Magnum, not 357 SIG, 357 Magnum. Dan, if you would, tell me a little bit about this gun. Well, it's not only 357 Magnum, it is 38 Special. Is it really? Oh, absolutely. Just like a revolver. Just change your recoil spring. I'll show you how easy it is to do that. Just do this. Okay. Pull that out. Okay. Put your other one in. Your, okay. your 10 pound recoil spring. Put that back on there like that. And then just. And it'll shoot, shoot 30, 37. Yeah. 38. 7 and 38. Yep. That's fantastic. I didn't realize that. I didn't, honestly, in my own ignorance, I didn't realize that there was uh, a pistol out there that would, that would shoot as an auto. 357 and, three, and 38 special. You hear about it in revolvers all the time. Well, you know what's neat about 357 Magnum cartridges? You can shoot bullets as light as 110 grain bullets and as heavy as like 230 is as much as I've ever put in 230. There. 230, a special uh, bowling pin load. Wow, that's a heavy, that's a nine millimeter in a 230 grain. Yes, So. Yes. So you're talking pretty long in terms Oh yeah, of you're talking long, you're talking, you know, Powerful as well. Okay, now how, in layman's term, in idiot's terms, how did you get it to do that? How did how did you get a 1911 to reliably shoot 357 and 38 in an auto format? It's all magic. It's all magic. It's all magic. Okay. No, it, it just just some reasonably simple yet unique engineering. Okay. All right. Uh, I it, it, it's actually our magazine. I don't. Do I have a magazine on me right now? Oh, yeah, there. Yes, a magazine, please. Thank you. Oh, okay. sweet. Sweet. And what's unique about this magazine is that we have an articulated follower. So as we bring the follower down, the follower file follows this angle, and that allows the cartridges to go to angle like that, and that prevents the rims from getting caught on top of the other rims. Okay, so, so, so they're... They're put in, and so they're like sort of the rims are sort of stacked. Yes, absolutely. And then they just feed off, and they're not catching on the on the rim under it. Absolutely. Okay. And this magazine works with 38 specials or 357 mag. And so then, with this little guide button you have, there's no tilt to it at all. Absolutely. And you can either these are easy load magazines. You can either load it by hand. Okay. You can put a, a loading tool through here and pull it down like oh, this. Oh, I love that. Like oh, a rimfire yeah. magazine. Yeah. Absolutely. Almost. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Or you can just pull it down, but with your fingers like that. Okay. And and uh, tell me tell me about your manufacturing. All done in house. It's almost all done in house. We have a couple of parts that are sent outside for special operations. Our barrels are done outside. Okay. Um, but the other parts are done in inside the machining. We have an investment casting house make up our investment castings, okay. and we finish them off in house. And we have a. Um, milling machines, we have a laser machine, we have a wire cut machine, and we make a lot of parts in-house. So you do so you do a lot of everything. Yes. And you guys, you are what I would call a specialist type company, because you focus on one product and making that product perfect. Well, we, we actually concentrate on making like the 357 Magnum pistol, but we also do FAL receivers. I don't know if you knew that. I did not know that. Well, there's a, a wall of a, a stack of them st over there. A stack of them up there, and those are fully full guns, but we just make the receiver only. Okay. All right. All right. But we also do some medical parts. We do some um, diesel tech parts. We do some um, other firearms parts for other firearms benefits. Okay, good. Well, Dan, it's been a privilege to talk to you. I really right. appreciate what you guys are my, doing my and uh, for taking the time to talk to us. All right, thank you very All much. Right. Hey, Mick Billings from Australia, this is for you, buddy. I know you wanted to see this. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Ah. <laughs> good stuff.